You're in for a treat. Some of you heard this as you were coming into worship this morning, so I'm going to ask the kids to come forward and bless us. All the kids that are singing in the choir. Yes. Okay, kids, have a seat right here, if you will. If there's other children that did not sing that would like to come forward for the children's time, please do so. And let's sing them forward as we sing the second verse of Jesus Loves Me.
pouring oil, lots of oil over Jesus' feet, got right down on her knees, poured oil over Jesus' feet, and took her hair and wiped Jesus' feet. This week, Jesus is with his disciples. They're having a meal, and at the end of the meal, Jesus takes water. He pours it into a basin. And then takes a towel. And he goes to every one of the disciples, places their feet in the basin, and washes their feet and dries them with a towel. Two weeks in a row, we have someone on their knees doing something amazing. Last week it was Mary with the oil. This week it's Jesus himself washing the feet of the disciples. Now, after he got done washing the feet of the disciples, he said something really, really cool, and I want you to hear it. He said to his disciples, I have given you an example. Just think about that. I have given you an example. Now, what I don't want you to take from what Jesus said just then is I don't think he's talking about giving us an example of washing people's feet. I don't want you to go around your neighborhood telling all your friends to take their shoes off so that you can wash their feet. Okay? I don't think that's what Jesus was really saying. What he was saying is, I give you an example of how to serve one another. In order to serve people, you gotta roll up your sleeve sometimes. Sometimes you gotta get dirty, and sometimes it hurts and it's painful, but I've given you the example of how to do it. And here's what I really wanted you to see this morning. Look out there. Are you looking? You've got a whole church that knows that. That knows how to serve. You've got people here this morning who have for years and years and decades and decades have rolled up their sleeves and got at it. They've served the community. They feed the community. They love the community. And so while Jesus says, I have given you an example, We've got lots of examples out here. And as a pastor, I have great pride in that. You've got them behind you, too. Take a gander. Yeah, look at them. Yeah. I am so proud to tell you that, yes, Jesus is our example. But we have a whole church that has followed that example. And that's kind of cool. Let's pray here. Can we pray with you? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For your example. For your example. Of serving. Of serving. And this church. And this church. Who has given. Who has given. So much. So much. To so many. So many. Teach me. Teach me. To do the same. To do the same. I love you, God. I love you, God. Amen. Stay put for just a second. Lynn, what's the, uh, we're all good? We'll see when we get upstairs. What a wonderful entrance. Here we go. All right. They are, whoever's upstairs is waiting for you. So head on out. And friends, let's sing our hymn of preparation. Make me a channel.